In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a 3D object of this vanilla vial mock-up. First, let's find an image of this type of vial to reference, which I found here on Amazon through a Google search, and it's giving us some dimensions to reference. If we copy and paste it into Illustrator and lock it with Command-2, we can start drawing the object. I'm going to start with the rectangle M for shortcut. And let's do a D for the default and remove this white background. With the white arrow A, I'm going to select this bottom corner and make it a rounded border radius. And we only want half of this object since we're going to revolve it. Photoshop. So now that we have half of this glass object, select it, go to Object, Path, Offset Path. We're looking to create the thickness of the glass for a little bit more realistic look. Let's go with five pixels. I am working in RGB and my units are in pixels. We zoom in. I'm going to delete the outer and select both points again with the white arrow. Command J will join those two paths. So now we have a closed shape with the M for rectangle again. And with your direct selection, you can make this slightly smaller. And I'm going to slightly round these corners. Okay, let's grab the glass vial parts, copy. Command C and paste into, I have my image size is 1200 by 1200. I'm working in RGB mode for 3D. Make sure you're in your 3D workspace up here at the top right with this window. There's a 3D, which will bring up the tools you'll need. Command V to paste. And we want this as a shape layer to maintain as accurate of curves and points as we can. If we go to layers, it's pasted in as white, which is hard to see. So go to your shape tool and let's change the fill to something we can see. Go to 3D tab, 3D extrusion, create. And in Shape Presets under Properties, scroll down till you see 360 Bend. And we want the extrusion depth to be just slightly over 1. If you look at your secondary window, we can check and make sure there are no holes. Next, let's copy the cork and paste into Photoshop as a shape layer. Let's do the same 3D extrusion, create. 
in your presets. We want the 360 bend again. In order to work with both shapes to align them, select both layers. Go to 3D, Merge 3D Layers. You select both sh shapes under 3D. You can tap V on the keyboard and we can align these using these top toolbar alignment. And if we group them with both layers selected, Command G. You can also rename them so you know what you're looking at. To help clean up this file, go to Scene, and in Properties, check Remove Hidden Back Faces. And let's go ahead and export this layer by going to 3D, Export 3D Layer, choose Wavefront OBJ, and you can choose specific dimensions or units here. If we open up Adobe Dimension, drag and drop our new object. Tap F on the keyboard to bring it into frame. And we're ready to start adding materials. For this cork, you can use a decal with a repeating pattern, or you can create your own materials within the library. I have another video on that. For now, let's just use the decal method. You can either place one in actions or you can find your image and drag it onto the object. Here you can choose in properties, whether it's a decal or a fill, and you can see it's covering the cork shape nicely now. If there are any odd seams, you can select your objects within Dimension, go to Object, Generate UVs. And sometimes that'll help clean up any seams or strange UVs. Next, I'm going to add a label to the tube. We need to rotate the entire object. You can select the vial and either and go to your rotate, which is R on the keyboard. In the properties, you can more specifically define that rotation. Then tapping V, I've got my scaling or moving tools again. And you can also use the orbit to move around the scene, which is one on the keyboard, depending on how you're creating this and what you want to do with it.
If you want to stick around a little bit longer, I can show you how to create the vanilla beans that will go in this. You can also do a quick render to see how this is coming along. I've got it at half resolution and reduce noise. For the vanilla bean, let's look for a good reference image. This vanilla bean has a good contrast and should work well so we can cut out the background. First let's make a copy by either command J or dragging into the plus sign here in the layers panel. Hide the other layer and tap W on the keyboard to get to your wand. The new Photoshop has made it much easier to select subject. If you need to modify this anymore, you can do select and mask, but this should be pretty precise. Next in the lower bottom here is the mask. And I'm going to make another copy just to keep plenty of working copies. Go to 3D, 3D Extrusion, Create. We want a little bit of depth. And in properties, if we go to this third icon, it's the inflation. We can choose front and back. Turn the inflation angle all the way up to 90. And the strength we can start playing with. If you see this secondary view, which you can swap between we can modify the strength however much we need. This is looking pretty good. You can also orbit the camera by clicking and dragging around. To get back to our original view, you can tap on the 3D tab and go to default camera. Now we're ready to export by clicking on the layer, 3D, export 3D layer, Wavefront OBJ again. In Dimension, we can grab this object. And drag it into the same folder. And you can scale this if you're on the move or you by hovering until you see scale and holding down shift you can scale proportionately. We want this to fit inside the vial. We can give it a texture And if we want to duplicate that, we can just do a duplicate, which is Command D, or click on this plus sign, and rotate it a little bit, or all the way around so we can get a different end. And as you can see, these are not aligned yet, so I'm going to select all of these. And with this actions, align and distribute. You can pull these together. And I may need to orbit around a little bit more with one for orbit until these fit inside the vial. If I tap S, I can scale these more directly and holding down Shift. Back to the move, V. The more you can learn these shortcuts, the faster you're going to get with this.
So here is our vial. For rendering, let's go to the render tab. Let's do a medium quality for now. I'm going to choose a PNG file. You can also specify what quality if later you decide to do a high res and you want to compare them. Now that I'm done rendering, I wanted to share some of the render results with you. I did some render tests on my Mac, which is a 2016 MacBook Pro, 8 gig of RAM, and it's a dual core i5 versus my Dell Precision Tower, which has 32 gig of RAM and is a quad core i7. The timing on medium quality, which you'll see here, there's a little bit of difference you can see here in the glass. The MacBook took 3 minutes and 14 seconds to render on medium quality versus the Dell Tower took 59 seconds. As for high quality, if I switch between medium and high, there's really not much difference in this particular object, but for high resolution, Mac and PC look quite similar. The MacBook took 4 minutes and 9 seconds and the PC only took uh, 3 seconds longer at a minute and 2 seconds. So depending on what your computer system is, it might be worth it to go with a medium quality first just to see how it's looking. This was at the 1024 by 768 dimension of the canvas. One thing I also want to note on the cork, we don't want this to be as shiny. So if you click, double click on the cork and click on this graphic, let's bring the roughness up. And you can see we don't see much of a shine anymore, which will be more realistic. If this video helped you out, please like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.